Number 1 Ducati Supermono Even though Ducati did make single cylinder motorcycles back in 50s and the 60s in the recent times they haven't any except for the Supermono The Supermono might be the best sounding single cylinder motorcycle ever made Ducati built this motorcycle to compete in the Supermono racing series from 1993 to 1995 The engine displaced 550 cc and it produced 75 bhp and 51 newton meters of torque. Those numbers are quite outstanding for such a small single cylinder engine. But unlike the other single cylinder engines which uses either a balance shaft or a crank counterweight, this engine featured a dummy connecting rod that acted like a second piston in terms of making the dynamic balance equivalent to a 90 degree V twin. With only 65 units made, the Supermono is among one of the most collectible Ducatis in the world. Number 2 PGM V8 Due to the size and weight constraints normal motorcycles have up to four cylinder engines arranged in different configurations according to the need But the guys at the PGM were not at all satisfied by the existing engine configurations on the current motorcycles so they went all out and built the PGM V8 As the name suggests this motorcycle sports a V8 engine But it's not any off the shelf V8. This 2 liter V8 is one of a kind and is built by combining two Yamaha R1 engines. This engine produces an absolutely bonkers 334 brake horsepower. And nobody knows what its top speed is. Since it's a naked sports bike, it will probably snap your neck if you try to do that. This amazing piece of engineering also demands quite a hefty premium of 180,000 US dollars before taxes. Number 3 Horrocks VR6 The Horrocks is a small motorcycle manufacturer from Germany. Some of you may have heard about this brand. As of now, they are the only motorcycle manufacturer that builds motorcycle with a VR6 engine. For those of you who don't know what a VR6 engine is, let me explain. In theory, the VR6 engine is a V6 engine with a very narrow angle between two cylinder banks. The angle between the cylinder banks are so low that this engine only requires one cylinder head as a result the vr6 engine is much narrower than a traditional v6 engine and is much shorter than an inline 6 engine this makes the vr6 engine a perfect candidate for a six cylinder motorcycle the horus vr6 has a 1200 cc vr6 engine 
which makes 175 brake horsepower and 140 Nm of torque. The price starts from 18,000 US dollars. Considering the novelty and exclusivity of this motorcycle, I think the price is quite decent. Number 4. Honda NR750 When it was launched back in 1992, the Honda NR750 was a technological masterpiece of its time. It had quite a few tricks up its sleeves that no one had ever seen before. But it's the engine that got everybody's attention. The NR750 had a 750cc V4 engine. But this power plant was unlike any other V4 in the market at that time. It was essentially a V8 engine in the form of a four-cylinder. This engine had oval pistons and each of those pistons had two connecting rods. To maximize the power output, the engine had 32 valves, which means each cylinder had 8 valves in them. In the stock form, this engine produces 130 brake horsepower at 14,000 RPM and close to 200 brake horsepower in the race form. When it was launched back in 1992, this motorcycle retailed for an eye watering 60,000 US dollars. Number 5. Suzuki RP68 The RP68 is a Suzuki's GP race bike from the late 60s. What's so special about this bike you may ask? Its engine. That's what makes this motorcycle unique. It had a small 50cc V3 engine which made 20 brake horsepower and revved all the way up to 20,000 RPM. But it only had a usable power band of just 500 RPM. And in order to make use of that, it had to have a 14-speed transmission. Yes, you heard that right, 14 speeds. Despite having this tiny 50cc engine, this mad machine was capable of doing speeds excess of 220 km per hour. Number 6. Neander Turbo Diesel The concept of a diesel bike is quite appealing to many people, but the problem is, there aren't many of them out there. 
The Neander Turbo Diesel is probably the best thing you can get in the form of a diesel bike. This diesel cruiser is powered by a 2300cc parallel twin engine making 112 brake horsepower at just 4000 rpm and 250 Nm of torque at a very low 2500 rpm. This healthy low end run helps this 310 kg machine to sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4.5 seconds and to a top speed of 225 km per hour. Even with this level of performance, this bike still returns a fuel economy of 25 km per litre. Unlike the other parallel twin engines, this one has two counter rotating crankshafts. This design feature helps to smooth out vibrations which is a common downside of single and twin cylinder diesel engines. But all of your excitement will die down when you hear the price tag. 85,000 US dollars.